Okay guys, so do you need an easy way to give flowers that are going to last more than a few days? Um, I went to my local grocery store and picked up this, it's kind of hard to see on this gray background, picked up this um, clear plastic floral box. It was $1.99. Um, I'm sure that any flower shop or um, if your grocery store has like a floral department, you can probably get it there. It may even be cheaper at the grocery as opposed to a uh, flower shop. I was really hoping to find one of the white cardboard boxes, but they told me that, um, that everyone uses plastic now. So I was a little bit bummed. So what I have in here is just a sheet of this XO paper. It actually came from the Dollar Tree and a sheet of red behind it. So from the outside of the box, I have it folded so you see both. And yes, um, I will take the tag off. I uh, just wanted to show you the price. And the other thing that I have is these Dollar Tree roses. Now, I know that they are a little bit hard to find. I had to go to several stores in my area to find them, but they are just listed as long stem rose. It is um, one bud, but these leaves look so realistic for Dollar Tree, and they actually have, um, they have thorns. Like these are the most realistic rows I have ever seen at the Dollar Tree. And um, they even have like a tiny little bud. So I mean, they look super realistic. And they are really, really long stemmed. Um, like I said, I, I didn't find them at all of the Dollar Trees. Um, I had to go to a couple or maybe it's just that they sold out. If you cannot find these, you can find a very pretty, realistic, long stem rose at Walmart. I think they were $1.96 or $1.97. So there are still um, good, like, fake options that will last for longer. And these have a really vibrant color. And I'm, I feel like the quality is not showing up as good as it could. Um, but these are really nice quality for the Dollar Tree guys. So what I have is three long stem roses and I've cut them to fit in this box. So I'm just going to lay that first one in. Oh, I'm so sorry. You guys see my hand. Um, I thought this would be easier than the tripod, but now I'm questioning my thought process behind that. So I'm just going to put three in this box. I'm going to lay one that is slightly longer just so it stays up at the top. And then two more that are cut just a little bit shorter. And that honestly, you could probably do a half a dozen in a box this size, but I think it would look a little bit cramped. So all I did here at the bottom is I'm going to take these three stems and I'm going to tuck them down behind the paper because normally if you were to have um, flowers like this they would have the little vial of water if they were fresh and that's just a piece of the sticker that stuck. Um, I might have to take an alcohol wipe to that because it's pretty stuck on there but um, normally they would have the vial of water here to make sure that they stayed fresh so I'm just going to cover up the very bottom and we're going to close up our box and it just kind of almost like a uh, like a blister pack almost kind of just pops down I'm not very coordinated as is especially um, one-handed. So that is the first option. And then I also picked up one of these fluted vases. I actually decorated for a wedding and did all of the center pieces with these fluted vases from, again, Dollar Tree. If you can't find them at Dollar Tree, um, as I've just recently seen them start to come back in the stores in my area. They also have just the 
the cylinder vases without the um, fluted top. They're a little bit shorter than this, but just like a regular Hurricane, those would be perfect as well. Um, but Walmart sells um, a very similar vase to this for like $2. So you can do an easy dozen roses. There's eight. I picked up a total of 12. So my other three are in here. And then I have one last one. This one that I hadn't cut yet. I just need to pull off the tag. And if you're going to cut these down for a, um, a shorter vase, you do want to make sure that you have a really good pair of cutters because some of the stems, like this one, are a little bit thicker. They're a little bit harder to cut. You want to make sure that you have a good pair of cutters and there's actually a like cut line right there. I had to put a little force behind that, not gonna lie. And then like I said, this is um, nine roses. You could cut them a little bit shorter or even um, put a piece of floral wire around them to kind of keep them more together or um, a taller vase, depending on what you have. I actually have a beautiful crystal vase that I'm going to try to find a few more roses to fill up. Um, but I think this is a great option for you, someone that is maybe allergic to flowers that doesn't, you know, they're not used to getting flowers because they can't handle floral scents. I actually have a very sensitive nose, so um, I think that would be a great option for someone that has floral allergies or just someone that you, you know, you want them to be able to enjoy the flowers longer because these are really, really nice, guys. So, um... I'll take a picture of these. Um, I'm actually going to put all 12 of them in this vase just so you can see, but they look so pretty. Thanks again for watching, guys.